They don't call KLM Royal Dutch Airlines for nothing. King Willem Alexander, reigning monarch of the Netherlands, revealed in an interview with Dutch newspaper De Telegraaf that he'd regularly flown flights for a subsidiary of the Dutch flag carrier for over two decades. Calling the part-time role a hobby, the king says that he'd taken to the cockpit as a co-pilot of KLM City Hopper, the airline's short-haul carrier, flights for over 21 years. Prior to that he piloted planes for Dutch carrier Martin Air. The king regularly took the co-pilot's chair for short-haul flights around Europe, an interview with a Dutch newspaper revealed. The king told the newspaper that he used the twice-monthly flights with KLM to decompress from his royal duties, with his pastime allowing him to fully concentrate on the task at hand. For me the most important thing is that I have a hobby for which I need to concentrate completely, he said. You have an aircraft, passengers and crew. You have responsibility for them. You can't take your problems from the ground into the skies. You can completely disengage and concentrate on something else. That, for me, is the most relaxing part of flying, he said. King Willem Alexander revealed he has been training to fly Boeing 737s which will soon replace KLM City Hopper's Fokker 70 fleet. King Willem Alexander and Princess Katharina Amelia pose for royal family photo in Austria, February 2017. According to information provided by the royal Dutch household, King Willem Alexander first took to the skies over 30 years ago while still a student. In the late 80s his passion took him to Kenya, where he worked as a volunteer pilot, first for the Medical Aid Organization, African Medical Research and Education Foundation. AIMREF, and later for the Kenya Wildlife Service. But the Dutch king isn't the only royal with history in the cockpit. Britain's heir to the throne, Prince Charles, is a qualified pilot, and his two sons, William and Harry, flew helicopters in their previous military careers, William, a search and rescue chopper, and Harry, Apache helicopters in Afghanistan. Brunei's Sultan Hassan al-Bolkiah also reportedly sometimes slips into the cockpit while flying on state visits. King Willem Alexander said that the chances of him being recognized had fallen since 2001, when security measures introduced following the 9-11 attacks restricted passengers access to the cockpit. Being the co-pilot also allowed him to retain his anonymity, even while addressing the passengers, he said. The advantage is that I can always say that I wish everyone a heartfelt welcome in the name of the captain and the crew, he told the Telegraph. So I don't have to say my own name. But most of the passengers don't listen anyway. This is your captain speaking. How many times have you heard that announcement while flying? Now imagine hearing something like this. This is your king speaking. Bizarre, right? Well. It has now been revealed that for the past 21 years, the King of the Netherlands Willem Alexander has flown twice a month, as co-pilot, and his passengers didn't have a clue. In an interview with De Telegraaf newspaper, Dutch King Willem Alexander reveals he has been a frequent co-pilot for KLM Royal Dutch Airlines. It was already known that he had appeared as a guest pilot before being crowned king in 2013 in order to maintain his pilot's license. However, it was not known that he was secretly co-piloting commercial flights, twice a month, as king. The royal will now train to fly Boeing 737 passenger jets, according to the Dutch newspaper. This is because KLM is phasing out the smaller Fokker 70 plane used on short-haul flights. I really wanted to continue as a guest pilot for KLM and therefore it could actually only be on a plane such as the 737. Which means short trips, King Willem Alexander tells De Telegraaf. Any bigger aircraft than this, 737, always means staying overnight, meaning I cannot get back in time to the Netherlands in case of an emergency, the 50-year-old royal adds. Sky News reports the royal describing his casual flights as a hobby. He says occasionally being able to leave his royal duties behind to concentrate on flying is relaxing. The Dutch royal says he is rarely recognized by passengers in his uniform. Before September 11, the cockpit door was open.
people regularly came to have a look and thought it was nice or surprising that I was sitting there, the Daily Mail reports him saying. And even when he makes announcements to passengers, the royal says that as a co-pilot he doesn't have to give his name. But most people don't listen anyway, he says. Here's how the internet is reacting to the incredible revelation. He puts the K in KLM, jokes one person on Facebook. The King of Holland has revealed he has been co-piloting commercial airlines twice a month for over two decades. King Willem Alexander told National Newspaper de Telegraaf that he has ended his role as a regular guest pilot after 21 years on KLM's fleet of Fokker 70 planes and before that on Dutch carrier Martin Air. He will now retrain to fly Boeing 737s as the Fokkers are being phased out of service. While it is no secret that Willem Alexander is a qualified pilot who sometimes flew KLM passenger flights, it was not clear how frequently it happened. De Telegraaf said he does it twice a month. As a guest flyer, the king is always the co-pilot. The 50-year-old father of three and a monarch to 17 million Dutch citizens calls flying a hobby that lets him leave his royal duties on the ground and fully focus on something else. You have an aircraft, passengers and crew. You have responsibility for them, the king told De Telegraaf. You can't take your problems from the ground into the skies. You can completely disengage and concentrate on something else. That, for me, is the most relaxing part of flying. Willem Alexander said he is rarely recognized by passengers, especially since security was tightened on board planes in the aftermath of the 9-11 attacks in America. He said, before September 11, the cockpit door was open. People regularly came to have a look and thought it was nice or surprising that I was sitting there. He added that very few people recognize him as he walks through Amsterdam's SIF airport in KLM uniform and cap. And even when he makes announcements to passengers, Willem Alexander says that as a co-pilot he doesn't have to give his name. But most people don't listen anyway, he added.